Let's talk about print on demand for artists. How to sell your art prints online. Now, first things first, we're gonna talk about everything. Why, how, which services, which prints, well, like the best tactics, everything. But first things first. Which print on demand service do you choose? This is, a, this is a thing that a lot of people struggle with. It's very easy. If you're an artist, it's very easy. You don't have a choice. You do not have a choice. Like you don't choose between Printify and Printful and Contrado and all of those things. No, you choose the one that is most qualitative because that's what you stand for. You stand for quality. You stand for amazing colors, amazing visuals, amazing high quality paper. And so this notion that you should go for something cheaper like Printify because then you can take a little bit more profit margin is is completely insane. The profit margin does not depend on which um, print on demand service that you choose. It depends on your marketing and the profit margin that you want to take because it's your decision. And so this is something that you have to not think about at all. Just choose the one that is highest in quality and then go for marketing and, and, and you will, you will sell. Like those couple of euros don't really matter. Plus there's also this thing called lifetime value of your customer. If, if they have shitty products coming from you, then, then they will not buy from you again. Then, then you probably have even burned qualitative leads, qualitative people that wanted to buy from you. This is, this is just not the way to go quality over quantity in this scenario at all at all times so let's talk about print on demand why would you want to do that very simple as an artist it's just it's hard if you want to sell large-scale prints you're not going to print them at your home printer or you need a home printer that costs 5k 10k or even more and so you will have to print it in a printing service then deliver it to your door where you will create a certificate of authenticity, where you will sign the print and then send it to the customer. This is a lot of work. You know, this is a lot of work. Sure, you can have the best quality there. You can, you can have most control, most creative power, et cetera, et cetera. But it's a lot of work and artists are not really organized creatures. It's a completely new workflow that comes into your week. And so the print on demand service completely erases that. You don't have to have any stock. You don't have to do any shipping. You don't have to do any transaction. You don't, you don't even have to pay, uh, uh, calculate taxes and all of that stuff. All of that happens automatically. You can all integrate it into WooCommerce on your website, into everything that you want it to be integrated in, in your Etsy shop or whatever. Like it's, it's all, it's all automatic. And so you, you, relieve yourself from all of that burden all of that stress of all of that shit like like we are artists we don't want to do that we just want to make art you know we just want to make art market perhaps that's it we don't want to put stuff in boxes and all like and then you don't you ship it to the wrong person or something gets lost in the tracker code and all of that that stuff that goes into your head and so that's that's really the advantage of of, of print on demand services now the disadvantage and this is huge is that you cannot sign your print, you cannot write a personalized note and, and give it to your customers with the print that they just bought. You cannot like do insane certificate of authenticity documents in it. And so you have a lot of, you, you give away a lot of the control. And so inevitably what I would recommend artists to do, if you want to go for print on demand services, what you can do is have on your website print on demand, fairly cheap your art if people want it perhaps perhaps even your art with 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 things on i don't know what you want to do you know and then and then next to that have your print on your prints that they can buy limited edition art prints that are perhaps that are signed that have a certificate of, of authenticity and have have perhaps an artist's hand on it you know, if you're a photographer, perhaps not, but if you're a painter, make a little brush mark on it, make it a little bit more unique, make it, make it something in between an art print and original piece of art. And so in that sense, you can price it much, much, much higher than those prints and have much less people inevitably buy those prints, which is not a problem because your profit margin, because you put so much time and effort in it will be much higher. You know, and so if you, if you sell prints at, let's say, print on demand wise, small print, 
for 50 euro and your profit 20 euro of that or 25 euro and it's a high quality print that's 25 euro if you want to make 2500 euro on those prints you will have to sell 100 prints that's a lot that's a lot that that that's a lot of prints that you have to sell through marketing that's hard now if you price your art prints and let's say it, it's something in between a limited edition art print and an artwork where so it's with brush strokes it, it's not even it's not even it's not even a a series of 10 anymore it's it's kind of an original piece on itself and you price it 400 or 500 which is definitely doable this is not insane insanely high then then you only have to sell five anymore suddenly five five prints you can do that to make the same amount of money and so so this is what i would recommend doing both of those things now another advantage of pricing your art prints original art prints original pieces i don't really know what to call it at four or five hundred euro which is for some of you a higher price point is that you can then discount it 20%, 30% discount it, 40%, like whatever you want. And it still will make you, will make it worth your time and, and effort and everything into it. And, and you will still make somewhat of a decent profit, 40%. That's, that's already a little bit, um, um, tricky there, but, but that's, that's possible. And then you can play the real game, the honest game, you know, like, like, not like what they do in other businesses. I once worked at, and the way they would discount stuff was completely different. For example, if, if something costs 19 euro and 95 cents and they would want to discount it, they would change the, the price tag. They would put a new one in that state that it costs 24 euro. And now with the discount, it's only 17 euro something like, like, I mean, that's, 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 that's lying. You know, that's, that's just not how, that, that's not okay. Don't do that stuff. Like it's that this is not what I would recommend anybody to do. Like when you're an artist, you have market mavens that are checking you out. They are like collectors are the market mavens of all market mavens. They know, they know those things. Like don't lie to them. Make it as honest and clear and, and with, with the most amount of integrity that you have possible. You know, like that's definitely something to uh to take serious now there are two things left there are two things left one being how to price your prints how to which price points are interesting for buyers for collectors and two how to sell them which tactics to use to sell those prints for those two things i would recommend you to check out my other videos i have one video um how to sell art on instagram those same principles will apply when you're selling prints when you're selling anything as an artist really and then from there on you can watch some other videos or how to price your art how to price prints i have a lot of videos dealing with how to price your art, how to price in order to attract galleries, how to price in like the whole thing, a whole full series, one of those two. I hope to see you soon. Make sure to subscribe, to like, to comment, to do all of those things that would help me out a lot. And um, yeah, see you around. Ciao, ciao.